We've got a problem which happens right around Australia and actually across the world where we've got uh, people spread out over a very large geographical area and it's not cost effective or feasible to have a pharmacist at each of our um, health services in our district. So what we've done is um, we're using virtual healthcare, so things like video conferencing to take pharmacists um, to the patients at the bedside and we're able to help patients uh, and doctors and nursing staff to safely use medications at their hospital. I remember a case uh, where I saw a patient um, at one of our small rural hospitals and he'd come in becoming increasingly unwell, unable to um, keep food down um, and it turns out it was actually caused by one of his medications and um, the, you know, the doctor called me and said, I think this is related to medications, I'm not really sure. And through interviewing the patient and going through his story and looking at his um, laboratory results, it was clear to me that it was caused by a medication. And we were able to quickly fix that, reduce the dose right down and, and get him out of hospital.